This is the latest ab exercise ever. And this is the most unexpected thing to run into in a forest while cycling. Holy! He was polite enough to run away after seeing him scared. This is the reaction you would get doing CrossFit pull-ups in public. The guy in the background thinks one arm pull up is easier than a muscle up. You don't got a muscle up though. That's the oh, oh, you almost That's He'd never say that to this guy who can almost do one arm pull up with 40 kg. <laughs> He's just as close as this guy is to a 315 bench. Come on, push! There you go! Having a huge strong cat is one reason to hit the gym. There might be another reason to go shopping like this. Cats are naturally strong, while dogs need to work for it. This is the only thing that can turn a bad day around. Hitting a squat PR with the same song makes it even more awesome. If this player keeps performing like this, he might get a deal with Chelsea. Oh my god! Oh my god! Even with this move, they might consider signing him. Whoever is coaching this guy needs to do a better job. He relies too much on momentum. He has a decent bag, but can improve. Come on, push. Come on, push. Very good. Push. This is why, if every day were a push day, you'd lose weight faster. Push. 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 But it should never be a rest day. Coward. You make me sick. Leave me alone, please. Hiding in the shadows. Hiding from who you truly are. Oh. What? This dad literally has the coolest daughters a calisthenics athlete could ask for. <laughs> Some people run to stay fit, while others run to eat more. And some eat more, you may get in fit harder for others. Naturally, at 16, this guy has a 19 inch arms. <laughs> if he wasn't nerfed on the other arm, he'd have some of the best arms on the internet for his age. How Dennis used to win effortlessly in his prime. What? I'm going. Oh, yeah. This guy is done with heavy lifting and is now into easier older guy workouts. This is what he considers an easy workout. Just like this guy who needs an extra 40 pound dumbbell because there are no 140s in the gym. Bring it down, yep, I'm good. Three more. He can still have a whole conversation while lifting it. I'm gonna try and get 10 actually. One more, you wanna help me on this one? On the wrists. Yep, ready? Even the spotter got his dumbbells lifting sets in, not as much as Eddie Ho's spotters who need to handle an impressive 220 pound incline dumbbell press that requires one spotter per side. The only thing the previous guys had in common was the strength to lift those weights because this guy can do that.
but can lift simple battles at home and this one targets his chain muscles to failure we now have a discount version of william lee Get right in and feel I had to make a buy The day he lost his soul, wish I could take it back What were these? Do these! Do you think this guy is overreacting? Ah! Oh my god! He's acting like he just did a quadruple backflip <laughs> While this guy tore his biceps and barely reacted But this 70 year old had every right to overreact. OG is 70! You add 30 to that, he 100. Why is he doing front levers at 70? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are you doing front levers at 70? Yo! For once, I thought Jack was going to try his best. That's too heavy. <laughs> that wasn't unexpected. What are you, 10? He's the only person who could listen to the news while lifting. As long as Sebum competes, the winner is already known. In this video, he's just six weeks out from his sixth Mr. Olympia win. This guy went from being known for having small calves for being known for both having small calves and being scammed for a calf filling surgery. But this one didn't need to hit the gym or get surgery to get abs. This guy reminded me that I didn't get the Omega lights in Fortnite. It still makes me sad thinking about it to this day. I can already sense the PED's accusations. Max will get after the cut. The person who received Toji's blood got a curse disguised as blessing. As he could never claim to be natural if tested, this interview with Usain Bolt shows the clear difference between sprinters and long distance runners. Do a 5k or a 10k at your easy days, like out just jogging or no, never, no, just, you have never run a lap? No, but, yeah. <laughs> no? Never. You never run a lap? Okay. I ran at 800. But, but your easy days, laps. you didn't run even one lap. Oh, I do lap. I love doing laps. <laughs> That's it guys. See you in the next one.